Hi guys. This is the director and lead actor here, Lucas Wamhoff, just doing some some commentary for this, and I'm joined by my co-star, Joseph, or Joe, whatever you want to call him. I'm being chased right now. I'm in my car. I need an officer or somebody to come out and help me. For those of you who don't know, this is actually my grandmother, who is being the 911 operator. She did a pretty good job. Six months now. Very, very uh, accurate from my experience. Mendota, and I'm taking this curve right off. Oh, oh, son of a bitch! Sir, are you alright? Sir. I just flailed my right? phone around on the floor to get that effect. <laughs> and, yeah, my, we, I just sat up in my room and I called, I had my grandma call me, and I recorded the audio from my phone as we did that, and... I put a filter over it. Oh, and this, I actually crashed my car. See, I didn't crash it specifically for the movie, if some of you were wondering. What actually happened was, excuse me, I just burped. Uh, what actually happened was I was almost done putting the movie together, and the ending was going to be, or excuse me, the beginning was going to be, like, a little different, but I, when I, after I, slipped my car into the ditch. I was on my way to work. I looked at it and I realized, oh my God, I could use this. And I changed the beginning of the movie just to include the photo because I thought, oh, that's perfect. It just helps with the believability. So I then... I believe it worked very well. The Truth. Great title. Yeah, I did that on purpose. To, it was a very... A very mysterious and ambiguous title. That's what I was going for. So you couldn't look at the name and know what you were getting into like a lot of other movies. Hi, my name is Lucas and um, I'm going to start... Yeah, I think it's hilarious that uh, my... Um, you, you can see my headliner in my car is is just drooping so horribly. <laughs> I, that was a... Uh, it's still like that, actually. I, I just have it pinned up even more. Somebody pointed that out in the comments. And they were they were being pretty funny about it. And I had, I had a good laugh with them because it's it's very true. The headboard... Or, excuse me, the headliner is all weird. I, I had... Uh, couch actually that looked kind of similar the cushions look similar to that it, so it kind of looks reminds me of a couch cushion the only reason my mom and grandma aren't in this movie i had to write them out with the 10-day vacation excuse because they seriously just don't like horror like i do so i had to write them out and the a lot of the stuff I say about myself in this movie is true. My mom and I are very into the supernatural. And, uh... My grandma is also a skeptic. See, a lot of the stuff I say about myself, I take from real life. That helped it feel more... It helped it feel less Hollywood. It helped it feel more real, like, less cliche. They uh, left. Something got moved... Uh, to a different spot, and my grandma blamed it on my mom, right? That's probably how it actually worked. My mom, of course, denied it because she doesn't think, she doesn't remember moving it. And then my grandma doesn't remember moving it either, so it's a, he said, or... She, I was literally just driving uh, to a, on a random street, or excuse me, I drove out from my home the direction I would take to go to work, and then I just drove around and came back. It didn't really matter where I was driving, I just had to make it look like I was driving somewhere, so it made sense, but uh, I reshot this thing like three times because I, I shot all of this off the cuff. I didn't think anything through what I was saying. I just said everything as it was coming to me, and that helped it feel more like that's how people actually talk. It doesn't feel rehearsed. Sensible enough in those situations. She jumps to conclusions too quickly. Uh, so I'm going to try and investigate stuff while I'm there, and if you're seeing this, that means something probably came of it, which uh, that, that I'll upload it on YouTube or something. That's probably where you're watching it. But uh, yeah, I, 
I, I almost burp a lot in this movie. I, you see me do that several times. I'll acid reflux, man. Uh, uh, I'll let everything kind of take off from there. Okay, I'm going to try giving you a tour of the house as quick as I. Man, look at all the chipped paint on that. This is. Let's try to look now. Uh, okay. Wrong house. We're sitting at that counter right now, doing this, doing this recording. <sighs> Dining room. And no, it's not autumn. Except it was. <laughs> yeah, I had to put down all the blinds so nobody could tell. Got an art desk over there because uh, I'm kind of an artist, but I'm not going to talk too much. Phenomenal still, artist. still not going to. Yeah. Think a lot, Joe. Phenomenal. Just, I'll leave it at that. Over here. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. Nice. If I could get him to sit in one place, I would have him sitting with us. For this. There's Lucky again, and like I said, my grandma just really likes autumn decorating. Which is true, but it was actually autumn, and I had to make everybody think it was summer during this. I had to film this after I had the majority of stuff already filmed. Got his own little spot to lay over there. This is my room, or it was. I mean, I'm going to be sleeping here now that I'm back home. And yes, I have a lot of monster stuff. It's kind of a hobby to collect the cans. Very cool, actually. The only reason I have this scene where I'm telling everybody off, like get over yourself stuff, the only reason I'm doing that is simply because I was trying to already get it out in the open that I don't care what people think, just to stop those future criticisms. Yes, those are real guns. Just the top two. Just the yep, yeah, just the top two. I forgot to clarify. Only those top two are real guns. Nerf is pretty cool though. I mean, it's, it's fun right now, but the, for. For right now, this is my mom's room. This room is looking very different now because it's not purple. It's not purple. <laughs> right now is a blow-up mattress. She lost her actual mattress and everything in uh, the whole... But that's actually that's actually true. I'm going to pause this here. That is... Oh, excuse me. That is actually true. My mom was in a, an abusive relationship, and she lost pretty much everything after she left, and... Everything just got left there, and unfortunately, she's finally gone back with that guy, and she's with him right now. So, like I said, a lot of the things I say about myself and the way my mom and all the living situation works is uh is fairly true. It just it was just less stuff for me to have to come up with, and it made I made it feel more natural and, and less scripted and less imagined, and it also helped me get more immersed in the story. And we had to move it out and put it in different places, so now it's kind of just, it's all over the place, so it'll get looking better over time when they get back. And this is my grandma's room. Hey there, guys. I just, I'm up sitting up here at my local Fast Stop gas station. The only reason I put the scene in is because I realized by the end of the movie, I was planning on a, on a sequel, but... The problem was I never referenced or even talked about these other associates that I have that are also ghost hunters because when I was first making the movie, it was going to be one and done, but then I changed my mind because I, I met more people who could help me out. And this whole thing here is meant for me to introduce and say that I have those friends so that way it's a reference and then it'll come back later in, in the truth too. Normal activity, okay. <laughs> I, I don't have those resources those people did. Uh, I can't afford that. All I can do is get, turn my phone camera on and point it around wherever I can uh, find or whenever I hear stuff. But uh, um, you see, I actually have a few acquaintances. Uh, right here. Be even friends. Uh, I don't talk to them a whole lot, but- uh, Except me. Checked me a lot. Oh yeah. Bring them in for this because they also have some equipment, but I'm not sure. That's what bros are for. Should because my grandma yeah. know them very well. I have a hard time believing she would take their word for something over mine. And if they're trying to add in perspectives that might be slightly different from how they experienced it, it'll be harder for her to take it as a something serious. And because they can be kind of goofy sometimes. Uh, mm. That's sure. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> and and that's no offense to them. They they, yes, they totally know, get right. it. And I, we can be goofy too. But I uh I hope that's I hope I can really do this because this would bring our family closer together. Not that it was really bad 
from the beginning or anything, but I it would it'd be a big step in the right direction. Okay, so it's the end of the day of my first day being home and uh nothing really happened today, which is kind of what I was expecting. But um you know, you can't really just walk into a place, whether it be the, the reported, some of the most reportedly haunted places in the world or your own home and have things happen to you as, as soon as you get there. It's not, it's not that easy. However, though, just, just, uh, to, um, to try to take this seriously, you know, show that I am, I went ahead and made kind of a suspects list. I went on my computer and uh, Microsoft Word, and I made a list of five possible suspects for this activity. Number one being nothing, because I'm thinking maybe my, as I already said, maybe... If you look closely in the background against the wall, like on the poster or on the Nerf guns over there, the autofocus trying to focus on me is really making, it's like warping the stuff in the background. There's like a wavy kind of thing going over there you know that's the first i've watched this like six times now this never story. noticed that yeah this is the first time i've noticed that so well, i've watched this more than anybody going through editing and i know about this so yeah i watched this with one with uh my roommate when i was uh deployed we didn't notice it number three demonic entities this is what i'm really hoping it's not because there'd be such a there would be such a process and just a, a lot of drama and crazy shit to try. Yes, to I am it. in the military. Because, you know, you my mom and I have gone to know. a lot of places, and I, I don't know if maybe which that's a little bit of an exaggeration here for me saying that my mom and I went ghost hunting a lot of places. Not a lot of places. I just said that for the movie, but we have tried ghost hunting in general. Number four, poltergeist, and when I say poltergeist. Forget what you have learned from movies and stuff like the 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 eighties that popular nineteen uh, eighties movie Poltergeist. That's a very poor representation because poltergeists were never alive. They were we believe today poltergeists are brought on by physical trauma and just overall. Yeah, that I put that up there <laughs> because. Uh, I screwed up and said physical. Or I said physical trauma by accident. I'm not gonna lie. This seems like a very good case for possible being possibly being a poltergeist because see, my mom, like I said, she just separated from her boyfriend and her boyfriend put her through a lot of stuff. He was he was kind of he was abusive, so maybe all of this trauma is making her develop a poltergeist, and that's what moved the stuff because it it would follow her around. However, I know poltergeists are able to um they are able to go other places not they're not necessarily um attached to their uh person who who um brought them on at least not for its entire life it can go other places all of this was off the cusp everything in this movie was off the cusp i never had anything scripted that's why i was saying i'm a lot <laughs> I had somebody Did you, correct. Um, didn't you have uh, your uh, list as you described earlier on that paper? So you had like bullet points to go off of. Yes, I did. On? Yeah, I, I did that on. Per I was going to show it to the camera, but I ended up not doing that. An example for why I believe this. This could also be the case. This story right here that I'm telling is true. I, I'm not joking with you. I was grabbing a glass out of our drink cabinet or our yeah our glass cabinet and she pulled it out i was watching her do it i shit you not the thing busted into a million pieces in her hand all the pieces dropped down to the counter her hand was unscathed and the glass was just everywhere like like the thing just had like an internal combustion or something internal combustion is fire though I, yeah I yeah yes. fall and then break. But, I said I was we, off the cusp. We, under, we understand what you mean, though. Yeah. I'm thinking that might have been, like, some kind of psychic energy that she emitted, and it uh, broke that glass. But um, right now, I don't have enough evidence to cross anything off the list yet, so I'll get back to that, and I'll just keep an eye out, and uh, I'll update on that as soon as I can. So it seems 
that uh, the garage doors are both open for some reason. I didn't leave them that way last night. That was your uh, cousin's, wasn't it? Yes, yes, I made a video about that on my channel already. Showed behind the scenes how we did it, so I'm not going to explain about it too much. That was a very uh, entertaining video, in my opinion. The one where we talk about behind the scenes with them? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, they're good kids. Everything looks fine. Sorry about the clutter. Wait, is that before the uh, toilet addition? Yeah, we've added a bathroom now that we... It's like right by that, uh... Right by where the air compressor, that red tank yeah. was. We've cut a hole in that wall and it goes into the other side that you're going to see me walking by. I love the visual effects. Yeah, I've had... That's my table saw! I kind of regret adding those now. Uh, I think they're alright, but a lot, a lot of people, I didn't seem to know this, is that people, some people seem to have the opinion that whenever there's effects like that, it almost kind of comes off cheap. Which, I mean, hell, there was no budget for this movie, but it feels gimmicky. Somebody in here? So if I right had... Right this uh, window and door... See, right here where this window is, we built the bathroom around that. So there's going to be a... There's like a drain in the middle of that. This is my uncle's truck. He's storing it here. how you don't show uh, license plates. Yeah. That's good. Privacy. Nobody in there. Nobody in there. I assume that was just the list your grandma made. Or yes, it was. I love those fields. <sighs> Guess I was wrong. There might actually be something here. <sighs> okay, so... You just saw what happened. I was out in the shed because I saw the garage doors were open. I went out to go investigate that. And as soon as the garage doors closed, once they were done closing, my table saw and my grinder turn on in the other room. I went out there. Nobody was out there. I was, com I was completely alone. Did not hear a single vehicle drive off like anybody escaped or anything like that. So because that just happened... I can now cross two things off my list. The first being nothing, because if something happened, it obviously can't be nothing. And the second thing... Yes, very good assumptions by me. <laughs> very logical. Because um, psychokinesis, from what, it, from what we think we understand, it doesn't have a, a long range like that. It can only really happen in the vicinity around the person who's emitting it, right? And... What if you were emitting? Yeah, I could have thought about that, but um, you know they haven't seen each other in a while. I guess you could use a head cannon. That since I was at college, I, my character was at college all that time. Yeah, that's another thing. I was never at college. I haven't gone yet. But I don't think it's causing the activity. But you could have made an assumption that it never happens when I was by myself until then. So, I mean, you could also had roommates in uh, college. Depending on if you're in the dorm, dorm or uh, apartment or whatever. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting ready to... I'm going to try and see if I can get any type of response uh, to the activity that I just caught out in the um, out in the shed out there with the table saw and stuff going off. I'm going to ask a few questions and see if I get anything. I'm not I'm not sure what I'm going to find, but I'm going to try. I gotta... So, for our audience, uh, explain the science behind this... Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna yeah, I think I yeah. See, I I, 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 movie, I excuse I, me. I neglected to talk about the science behind an electromagnetic field detector simply because I got tired of okay, how on Ghost Hunters and all these shows they have to explain it every single time for new viewers. And my point is, I wanted I never explained it simply because I I just kind of wanted people who already knew what was happening <laughs> to watch it. I didn't really feel like explaining it, but the the EMF detector obviously senses electromagnetic energy, and this is all just theory, because of course we don't have any, any kind of uh, validated scientific proof that 
ghosts are even real to begin with. So there's this theory, though, that ghosts are made of electromagnetic field energy because our brain waves and our pulses, or excuse me, our nervous system runs on electromagnetic fields. Even though it's really so small, you can't sense it with a machine. It's theorized that after you're dead, you become pretty much a mass of EMF that a detector like this, in theory, could potentially sense. And I am somewhat skeptical of it, even being a believer myself, but I, I use it anyway. I, I get, oh. But the only reason this is actually happening, how I faked this for the movie, was I had my grandma sit right off camera to the left there. And I had my alarm clock plugged in. And the alarm clock emits a lot of EMF, like so much, it's ridiculous. I had her moving it back and forth under the table. To the digital recorder. And this, I just took the regular audio, transported onto the computer, then I screwed with like the audio to make it sound all weird, and then I ported it back on, and then then I uh, played it on here. Okay, it's recording. Okay, so. And I kind of regret not playing with the audio effects more in the whole movie. The entire thing. It's all distorted and like wavy, weird, warping crap. I some type of interference or something. I've never, ever heard anything like that before. Okay, so my close friend, Joe. Aha, here comes my buddy. Yeah, yeah I put, make my first uh, appearance. I wanted to go kayaking today because it seems nice, so... I, uh, None of the events in the uh, kayak trip, if it's the right kayak trip, or if it was... Uh, Different one we just combined. Yeah, we had two different trips that I had recorded, and I combined them to make them one. And nobody nobody could tell the difference. I mean, you if you've listened to this and you go back, you'll probably notice. Look at that ugly mug. Fine. It's been a while. It's been a while. That that beard is so disappointing. So I'm wondering if. Apparently, it's, it looks like it's going to storm now, but it's going to be... If you look closely and you were paying attention through the whole movie, you would notice at the beginning of the movie, the field next to that, the property was corn, but now it's beans. And that's unfortunately just... I was outside of my control. We filmed this across a two-year period. Get my kayak on top of yours. Farmers like to alternate. It's fine. Yeah, I know. This was a totally different trip. Probably not a good idea, but we're doing it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew I had to use this uh, in the movie just because it adds more believability. No, oh, I got memed so hard here. Yeah, I, by me. I love it. I, I do not apologize. I love it. It's okay. Best pirate in the world. Or best pirate I've ever seen. to be best pirate I've ever seen. Concrete pillars. So. Yeah, Joe never quite spoke loud enough. No offense, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had to keep putting, I had to keep putting the the um subtitles on there by myself, manually. Actually, I hear a vehicle right now. The way I recorded this audio was I literally just sat at this bridge to fish one day, and I just waited until I heard a vehicle come by, and I, I recorded the audio. Excuse me. So it's actually. We'll see who it is. So it's actually the audio of a car going over that specific bridge. I was just like, what the heck no just happened? No mm -hmm. one was there. Okay. Uh, wait, I forget how we did that audio. Was that, um... I just told you to pretend you heard. I, I, re I remember that, but, like, uh, did you use, um, my car, or did you actually use a bridge? No, I waited for a random car to drive over oh, when yeah, I was fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. That's a different right. time we use. Yeah. That's later. That's in later movie. in the movie. That's right. The table here is up. Grandma was so pissed. Heavy table. No, she no I put it all back on it before she got back. <laughs> the side a little bit. Holy shit. Damn, boy. These are just... Huh. Family room looks okay. Yeah, I filmed this close to Thanksgiving, and that's why... <laughs> I mean, it's like I said, it was autumn. Uh, so out of place. Ooh. So out of place. I probably should have gone upstairs. Ooh. My original plans for this scene is that Joe and I were actually going to come into the house... So, uh, and notice right. this, and then we couldn't find Lucky, but then he randomly just appears. But I changed my idea, and because I thought that'd make things a little bit more of a surprise for later. Uh, was I gone at this point? Yeah, I said that Joe already left, because him and I stood out there talking for a while, and I just came up to the house, so... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But I changed my mind, because I wanted to get it filmed already, and I was like, you know, Joe, I think you were gone during this, when I filmed this. Like, I left for the deployment or whatever. Yeah. So I did, couldn't do that. This is still my I mean, you could have. Home. They wouldn't have known. I, but I couldn't have done what I wanted you to like I help me with. Well, yeah. And now that I've come back, uh, I you know the recap of what you just saw is that all, all a lot of these big things in the house were just they were moved in some pretty um, awkward ways, and I. That means I can cross uh, human entities off the list because from what we think we understand, like more often than not, it's very, it's, the vast majority of human entities don't possess the strength to, to lift or move that many. Like I said, what we think we believe, that's just, most consider that a pseudoscience. We, it's just observations and kind of things we've made up over the years. We. There's two things. That the only reason I believe ghost things is because of stuff I've seen myself. My mom helps a lot too. There's a lot of stories there to unravel. I didn't like off. I'm now down to uh, poltergeists and um, demons. And yeah, the, I already discussed what's wrong with doing, trying to get rid of demons. Like probably, or no, I don't know if I. Yeah, I get religiously involved. Yeah. Yeah, pain in the mess, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hey, I think that's actually good that I left in those little things like that, because then it would feel, like I said, it feels more real that way. Yeah. People mess up when they talk all the time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can have perfect sentences, but like, it, it really humanizes the uh, whole scenario. It, personally, if it would, if I could do it. Also, I wanted a lot of talking in this movie because I thought it really helps with my character development. You see my demeanor change as things get worse. I think the way to getting rid of it might be a little easier. And I also, I just love talking. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm on the autism spectrum. So, uh, I get very intense when I talk about things and I'm passionate, so... To one of my moms yes, I can definitely. Oh yeah, jo that. Joe could definitely test to that. We might talk about a funny story <laughs> in a different video. With me, but yeah, I'll I'll keep trying to update and figure things out. Okay. Okay, so this is the third day I'm I'm home. Different red sleeveless. Yeah, I literally laid out the clothes that I was supposed to wear, and I made list. I made a note. I took a picture of each outfit I was supposed to be wearing on each distinctive day that this was taking place, so I didn't screw it up. There was a time I actually screwed up the pair of shorts that I was supposed to be wearing for, uh, I believe it was the fourth day. Whichever one, but I screwed it up, because I, I think I got a tear in it, and I was like, crap, so I actually had to go buy a second pair just to make it consistent. I mean, they weren't expensive. I think I may have uh, I mean, not just messed up with uh, footwear. Oh, yeah, you did. I'll point that out later. <laughs> we will. Uh, I think I had uh, combat boots in one, and then cowboy boots in Yeah, the so far nobody's pointed that out to me, which is good, because I was being extremely critical of myself. 
I mean, it was just one of those things. It was just, I came. It was an accident. <laughs> work one time, forgot to. I, I had like two pairs of shoes. I had a pair of tennis shoes and my cowboy boots, which I usually wear all the time. So, I mean, it was just a mistake on my part. I, I just forgot what we were, uh, what I had worn. But I yeah. also brought um, a pair so that it would sound a little different for um, the footsteps in the Norris house as well. That way it wasn't my footsteps. It would sound slightly different because it was a different pair of shoes. Yeah. We'll uh, elaborate more on that later. When it comes up. Oh, Lucky, Lucky, Lucky was oh such goodness. a great actor for a dog in this one. He actually... He is so adorable. <laughs> He he did such a great job yes. with this, and he, he 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 really sold it. I was so surprised because Lucky has not had any acting training. None of us have, as for a dog. And oh yeah, somebody bitched to me that like he they didn't like that uh, we were very gun savvy because they thought that made our characters unlikable. Well, let me just say this: if you're one of those people who thinks that makes us like some sort of redneck, uh, hardcore conservative. Nut jobs or something. Let me tell you this. I'm a I'm a registered Democrat, so um, Democrats own guns too. Joe's a little different than me though, but we we still get along no matter what. That's, that's, and that's the last we're going to talk about politics. So let's we're not done. We're not going to talk about that anymore. Joe here just I I talked over, but Joe just said that he lives down the street. That's actually not true. I live like uh, um, several miles away. Like, who's gonna yell? At least 17. Just, you know, my, my, uh, my anxiety, I guess. I did used to live uh, closer, my, but uh, I don't now. Sun's out, gun's out. Okay, okay, so we're getting, we're setting up a shoot. But uh, got, let me talk about Lucky again for a second. Like I said, he did such a good job. He would actually, when we shot that, I had him get out of the view of the camera, and I told him, like, come on, Lucky, get back here. And then I pressed go on the camera, and I said, okay, go! And then he actually ran, and then ran straight to Joe, and it looked like he just showed up. It was perfect. Uh, it, it was so adorable. Stuff. I mean, I know it has nothing to do with the investigation, and this is just... This is just me trying to cover up for the fact that, yeah, some stuff some stuff doesn't directly affect the plot, and people complain about stuff like that. Like, why are you filming all of this? It seems kind of stupid and drawn out, like trying to extend the runtime. Oh, this was improv right here. Everything was improv. <laughs> that was good. I'm glad Joe did that because it really, it's good at characterization. Again, like I said, I really was trying to be heavy on characters in this. And uh, I believe that was uh, the Ruger I had. I actually, uh, my brother gave me. Sights weren't uh, aligned properly or sighted in properly at this point. I even say that. In a moment, see, we had we didn't we had no practice shots. I just set shit up and was like, "Hey, let's shoot," and we got what we got. Yeah, so it was. We didn't zero. There we go. Zero in the uh, sights is the technical term. Yeah, I was like, you need to sight that thing. uh, yeah. Because I've seen you hit things with a handgun before. It's not this one. I've gotten on military standard. Probably I've gotten. Best marksman which, and yeah you don't really practice with revolvers that much in, no, in, in it's guards it's usually um, 9 mils or glocks this shotgun was actually pretty much given passed down to me by an uncle of mine he uh it didn't go directly to me it went to another uncle of mine who lives nearby but he had plenty of guns and knew I wanted a shotgun so he gave it to me and Unfortunately, that uncle of mine, he was a military, or excuse me, not a military, I, I have military on my brain because Joe, we were just talking about it, but um, my uncle, he uh, he actually, we was a pilot for, you know, a helicopter pilot, and he would give people rides at fairs and stuff. Well, unfortunately, and he lived in Pennsylvania, well, unfortunately, one day, we're not exactly sure what happened, but we believe towards the end of his life, he was starting to have some sort of maybe Alzheimer's or dementia because when, when he landed the helicopter, he went against protocol and he, when he stepped out, he stepped up too high and blades were still moving pretty fast, struck him and it killed him instantly. And it was, it was, it was unfortunate. I didn't really know him all that 
well, but that's just, that is kind of a, a tragic thing. It happened in front of all those people, and it was a uh, you know so sudden. Okay, take two with the revolver. Joseph's gonna try again, and this was still not sighted in. I just uh, he actually did all right the second time. Well, I got a feel for it and adjusted the fire accordingly, so didn't have to. Yeah. For those of you one, for those of you who wondering, that little white building up there on the on those um still tall. yeah those those telephone pole things that is a little treehouse clubhouse thing that my uncle and this is a different uncle than the one that died I got several uncles obviously but um my my uncle who is my mother's brother him and all of his friends built that for me when I was like seven yeah. I'm like tw I'm 22 right now and uh I, I've pretty much outgrown it Joseph did actually hit one of those few two cartridges with uh we had, there used to be a barn a huge barn on this property we ripped it down and used all the wood that was left to make the treehouse seems like somebody's coming down the road this is where joe ah, yes this is where i used my vehicle at the time yep i just had him get down the road by the driveway to the norris house and i had him drive by and i recorded the audio and i overlaid it I don't see anybody ever coming. It was a fun time. Hold on. I don't... No, nobody's coming. It's, it's, it's about to pass the proper... I can, it's getting really loud. Like, it's about to pass. Some people are still confused. Or, or obviously, I, I tried to make that a big mystery about why I was hearing that. Not, not, yeah, like, it, it already sounds like it passed us. So... There's nothing there. It kind of sounded like a plane to me that time. Somewhat. But <laughs> people... Like, some people were... Talking to me about this when they saw it. It's just like what happened at the bridge. But um. I want to go to fast stop maybe and sit up there for a while. Uh. Get something to drink. The reason, like I was trying to say, is that I'm not going to give it away, but there is a deeper meaning, and you will you will understand eventually, for in the truth too. Lucky. Sorry. Sorry. What is going on with those noises? Oh. There there is another force at play color. here. Other than the main thing that's messing with us in this movie. And they're related to the... I mean, do you have any idea? To the... I mean, I um, the phenomenon itself. Knows much about the, the paranormal, but... I like, I, I was trying not to laugh the entire time. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I mean... Like, you can kind of see it. Oh, that hat, um, this past year, we had basically a... Hold on a sec. Shit! You jumped in there. Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> so, uh, uh, here's an old friend of mine, uh, an ex, actually. Maddie here doubles as an actor as well as my makeup artist. We're, we're, we're cool. It's, it's or actress, she's whatever. She's also a very phenomenal artist. Yes, she's a, an art artist as well, like me. Uh, makeup artist. She did yeah, a she, phenomenal job on that yeah, there, with, there in the beginning scene. Have a few minutes with, um, yeah, as you can see, Maddie is very much into monster like I am as well. Tell me even though we know that's not healthy, yeah. but for evidence purposes, I guess you could say. What? 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 Did you, you, saw, you said you saw something coming. Uh, yeah. You could tell I had. I, I was hyped up on that caffeine. I was really. It was really getting to me. Usually, I'm all right on caffeine, but this time it felt more. Felt stronger. I mean, cause it's, it's hard to tell what, what type of Improv. Oh, you see me drinking my Dr. Yeah. Pepper if, when you're inside in the, the window. window. See, like, 20, Being quiet, burping. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, the usual Joe stuff. Well, we are going to shoot more scenes here for the truth, too. There's going to be a meetup between some characters here. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, and just to clarify, Maddie and I were never together in nor, real life, nor was Maddie and I. Yeah, that was just for the movie itself. It, it was kind of a spur of the moment in the movie, I believe, as well. Huh? Was it a spur of the moment? No, I, I said the way that she's connected to us, because I, I wanted that scene where you guys get away from me, uh, and there needed to be a reason for that. So, <laughs> I didn't tell Maddie to carry this. 
she 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 had her machete and stuff, or or Joe had his machete and all that. I I had somebody complain to me that they, as well as the gun stuff like this, they thought that made our characters unlikable carrying weapons on us. Well, I'm sorry if it's believable that if we go to a, an abandoned house where there's squatters rampantly running through there at a moment's notice. You don't know what they're gonna have on them, so you yeah, it's best to protect ourselves. Sorry. Uh, the 1840s, um, uh, but but the house next to it came in like the uh, 1870s. What I said there was true. That the Norris house is from the 1870s. Were um. Oh, that was a nice joke. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, this was just us being. We were just. Yeah, that was dumb. It was conversation, yeah. logical conversation that what actually happened that made it more yeah, and then uh, like I said, relatable and uh, more humanized because people are awkward sometimes. Yeah, we de we definitely are. Screw it up. Uh, what did they do like graffiti? Um, there actually is some graffiti in some places, but it's kind of faded. But some like the the drywall is busted in some places. The yeah, no, yeah, no trespassing. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, uh, late, the, well, the guy who owns this house, like, she, she barely, nobody barely even knows who he is. And that is true. He does not live around here, which is horrible because he doesn't care about this property. I actually met a guy over here since I filmed this. He's actually trying to get the bank to repossess the house from the current owner because the bank had no idea the house was even in this state. There's still a $200,000 mortgage on this place. And... He, the guy, his name is Jamie, he wants to repossess it and, and fix it even though it's, he knows it wouldn't be an easy journey. He knows it wouldn't be just a one-year project. It would take some time, but he wants to turn it into a wedding venue. And, well, that would be a Oh, yeah, it would be great, venue. and I really hope he can get around to it. Because Jamie lives up in Chicago, and he works in this business called uh, Primerica. It's like a finance business helping people out and stuff. Joseph, would you like your machete? And see, I'm not going to do the stupid thing. I'm not going to leave the keys there. I'm taking the keys with me so nobody can steal them. <laughs> Fantastic. Lock the car as well. That's a little bit of foreshadowing. Yeah. There of, 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 uh, of what happens near the end of the movie regarding the keys. <laughs> We no bitch. Vampire killer. Mm hmm. The seizure setting on this flashlight makes this very unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far, this looks, this is about how it normally looks. There's nothing. <laughs> Shut this. Yeah. But see, this is what I'm talking about. All these assholes come in here and they decide, uh, since nobody, or like the person who owns this isn't even around, they can just fuck with everything and not get in trouble, which, you know, they're not wrong, but it's not. not right. It's just, this place is so old, it kind of deserves respect. Yeah. I like but, the original, like, part. Was, was that bit last time? Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. I don't remember. I need to watch my video again. That was from a little while ago, wasn't it? Except it wasn't. He, we'd just taken it recently, but for the movie, we weren't supposed to be there for very... We were only supposed to have been there several years ago, and I had to cover up for that at that moment and say, yeah, that was a few years ago. Yeah. Right. Oh, I did not plan to not go in the basement. The only reason we didn't is because Maddie didn't want to go, and I am slightly suspicious, or sus I have like a suspicion that she was suspicious of us because I hadn't, we, we went to school with her, but we hadn't talked to her in a while. So I wonder if um, she was maybe thinking there was some sort of uh, scheme going on here. And maybe she didn't want to go in the basement because of that, because that just seems like a good place to trap somebody, I guess, which I understand that. And I am going to censor this part uh, with, with a little bit more crudely than the official version because... The version we're watching is uncensored. I, I got... I totally... I, de I deleted the original. Uh, or, excuse me, I deleted the YouTube version from my from my, um, my saved files. Because I would never watch the censored version. The censored version only for YouTube. Had to be... Shit, you're homeless. What are you doing? You gotta be doing something. Which is true. There was a homeless guy there at one point. I just... 
Why did she carry it around with the the sheath on? I don't know because I don't know, just safety maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Weird. Oh yeah! Don't touch that bag. Yeah. Sorry that I pointed the camera down so much and didn't just show what was happening. That. That was my fault. When I go in that house, it doesn't matter how many times I've seen it, I kind of just get this sense of wonder and awe. What friend? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is... I did friend. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That seems creepy out of context, and it kind of is still, but... Come, come, look, come look at this. My dead friend. <laughs> that was so bad. He's looking worse. Oh, my poor raccoon. Uh, yeah, we, yeah. me and a few people have actually moved him since. Yeah, he's a... That's a coon. Yeah, yeah, he's been... I think that was a guy. <laughs> sure. I feel like I should have buried him in the basement or something, because the basement's just dirt. I it's like mummified. Because, you know, how many wild animals really come And originally, when this movie was going to be a standalone, you were never going to find out what was in the basement. However, I realized, now that I'm going to make the truth, too... I mean, we look through We're in late stages of pre-production for that. Uh, you're going to find out what's going to be in the basement. That's where it's all leading to. Foundation, the ceiling totally... So, it's, yeah. it's good that we kind of... Yeah, it left it open like that. That was just... Oh, if you notice, I think uh, the footwear uh, changed from earlier in the and scene. I've been back to the house since. Those uh, Dell computer storage things, those are gone now. Somebody came and took them. Yeah, but... And what's all and what's all this stuff? I've always wondered what this is supposed to be. It's just more shelving, I'm guessing. Yeah. Like this. See, somebody threw a pot out the window. And that is still there. Yeah. yeah. No. A pot. Pan pot. Pan pot. Pots and pans. Mm -hmm. Pots and pans. Yes. I know, because it was so beautiful. Thinking we're talking about drugs. Come this on. is only the first floor. Come on, Maddie. The chat out of the gutter. See, look, here's... The railing, like, I think this is what those... That used to be a great, <laughs> phenomenal railing. Yeah, there was actually a thing down in the basement where I believe somebody was selling weed there at one point because there was grow lights, like I said, uh, and a bunch of fold-out tables. Everybody's being an asshole. They decided they had to break the railing and just be a total piece of shit. Let, let me promise you, the damage on this room has gotten worse ever since. Yeah, more railing. The three people in this movie have not done any damage to the property. We've only recorded it. It would be an extremely bad move, excuse me, an extremely bad move for me, especially because I literally live right next to it, so that would be kind of uh, hard for me to get away with if I was doing it, but... I don't have the conscience to, or let me let me see. Let me say I actually do have a conscience. I don't have a lack of of a type of conscience. I just, my, I, I I believe in my opinion. I'm I have very strong moral convictions, and destroying abandoned places, especially one like this, is just it's it's wrong. Horrific. It's horrific. See, this is where I think there's a deleted scene. That you're never gonna see because I've deleted it. It's gone, uh, or it's a del it's not really a scene exactly. It's just a little section where I put extra emphasis on some graffiti that was in here. There was gangster disciple graffiti, old stuff. I got rid of it because I realized I feel like that was pointless. I mean, a lot of stuff you could call it pointless, but it doesn't do much for characterization. It was just me talking about something that really wasn't personal. Oh yeah. Over here, don't walk around this because this is rotted to hell. Thanks. Right there is where the cut was because I started talking about the graffiti. It's not really secret, it's just if you weren't trying to pay hard enough attention, you probably wouldn't have seen it the first time. Come on, let me. Oh, one time we came in here, 
Somebody, it seemed like somebody was hiding some shit right here. There was like a bag that had like hard drives in it. That's true. <laughs> or some some type of like computer. Um, yeah. Which me kind of makes me wish I would have taken it home because storage. if there was something incriminating on there, maybe that would have been good for me to take home and try to figure out what it was. I did find a floppy disk though, and I brought that home. I just don't have a reader for it. Somebody tried writing hell on on a. Uh, this here, like they tried scraping it in. And see, this is where that staircase that we saw when we first kind of came in comes up to. Yep, right there. Okay. This is weird. But cool. Can I go in? Sure. We actually brought some stuff home one time when my mom and I went in here. We, I found a little, some little jars that I, I found. Me and our uh, friends, me, Lucas, and our friends uh, played like hide and seek in this one time. Oh, yeah. That was kind of fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's actually pretty. It's, it's a pretty big house, so it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to play hide and seek for a little bit. And I have the advantage because I'm there more often than anybody else. <laughs> Holy vibe! I take any excuse I can get to go. Over oh, hey, there. there's a bunch of pictures and books and shit laying around up in the attic when you get up there. It's broken. Why are they only shitting on these little platforms? I don't know. I also cut out a spot, a spot where I was talking about the windows, modern windows being in this room because it, this house. At one point, was being renovated back in the 90s, but they stopped because uh, the person who owned it, they um, were going through a divorce. They told everybody who was working on it to stop, and now it's kind of in limbo. What? You guys heard something? Yeah. Only like footsteps. Where? Like on, on this floor? The... Oh, down here. This is our escape plan. <laughs> yep. Go get her. Uh, Just kidding. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't defend myself at all. What are you talking about? No, I'm kidding. Huh. I literally just told both Maddie and Joe go out to the barn and just just wait there until I get out there, and then I'll run out. And then I didn't actually tell them they're going to jump out and try to scare me. When I'm coming up, and I actually didn't tell them to do that. They, there was a miscommunication there. I said, just jump out and say, we're right here. But they said, boo. Which, whatever. I was just trying to not resort to jump scares like that that are false. This whole movie has no jump scares for the most part. I was trying to avoid that because jump scares are played out. I like suspense better. Me and Maddie were just like talking about random stuff. like. Which, that's what we always do, pretty much. All of us are talking about random stuff. <laughs> now, like, during this portion, when we were at the barn, we were just talking about, like, oh, yeah, that's gotta what be. was going on. But this was, this was uh, Joe's footsteps I recorded walking up the stairs. And I used that, and I, I specifically made sure whenever I was recording a sound effect, do it where it's actually going to take place. Well, yeah. Well, this is where I uh, wore the combat boots. Yep. Uh, if you notice earlier, I had cowboy boots on. That way it wouldn't make a similar sound. Yeah. Footsteps there. And with the combat boots, it made it a little more heavy, whereas the cowboy boots were uh, a lighter rubber. See, this is where the creep factor really sets in, that I was really liking the atmosphere here, where I start to creep up to the door, and the audience would be expecting somebody to probably jump out at any moment, but they just keep leading you on, and leading you on, and leading you on, and then making you question when something's actually going to pop out, and but it never does, and it just kind of what are you? creates a bunch of doubt. Can you tell me? Show yourself. You'll see me soon enough. Oh, I love that. What the? That the that very monotone and robotic sounding voice was provided by uh, the father of uh, another schoolmate of mine that I went to school with. Obviously, um, his name is in the credits. His name is Bill Kojel. This he actually is going to be reprising the role. See, that voice was not coming from the shadow entity. Oh yeah. I can hear noises 
This was also Joe's footsteps oh, you're about to hear. Best part. Took like a few uh, takes to try to get the yeah, noise I wanted. Yeah. Show yourself. That's funny. Every time. But yeah, Bill is going to be reprising the role. Because that voice, a lot of people don't know this, but it'll probably blow their minds after they finally see the truth too and I reveal Bill's character. But he plays, that voice is not coming from the, the shadow figure you see at the very end of the movie. It's coming from a separate entity. It's connected to the car noises. Some people didn't get, a lot of people don't understand that and did not make the connection, which is, I guess good, because that means that they're not going to see the twist coming. It creates more suspense. I don't know if I'd say suspense is really the, the thing, uh, but I'd say it creates... Um, it, it, like I said, once people will hear his voice, and then his character finally appears on screen, people will have their minds blown that they thought the voice came from the shadow figure the whole time, but it was a different entity altogether. I drew that myself. I um, I had several drafts that I went through on a piece of paper, and then I just eventually chose the one that I liked the best, and that was the one. So I drew that. I literally went there an hour or so before we met at Fast Stop and drew that myself. <clears throat> and, uh... I'm not... Uh... Did you flip that panel? Because it was flipped over before. I explain that uh, your character is actually... I say that it's supposed to be you guys flipped it when you came down because you were still looking around. Originally, when we filmed this, I forgot we were going to turn the thing around when we first entered that room, but I screwed up. And I, once we were up in the room where uh, all that junk was laying around before, right before we went up into the attic... Uh, if you look closely here, you'll see... Oh, never mind. It already happened. <laughs> um, but but uh, when we were going up in the attic, right before that, that that room with all of the junk, there was a um, time when I, I was like, crap, we didn't look at the that concrete board. So I said, hey, let's go down there and look at it. And I realized, crap, that's extremely suspicious and it totally breaks the flow. So I... I cut that and then realized I can walk by and I had to add my voice over like I reacted to the symbol differently when I saw it coming down even though you know I, I my my saying what the hell is that was not there originally I added that in later me and Joseph have uh, kind of been seeing each other for the past six months not true she's with a this other kid named Nash that uh, or not kid. He's old. He's no. he's the same age as us. Like, we were together three years ago. We're still together. We've been I'm together for like yeah, quite a while. Like, you can never like, date. Nash was also a great artist, but he has fall he has fallen off the artist train. Yeah. You know, but shit. I got to. We'll talk about this later. I got to tell you what the hell just happened in there. Originally, I described the entire thing on camera. But I just noticed too that I think that was a lot of extra time. I was tr I was I was trying to cut as many things as I could from this movie where I was comfortable with it because I thought everybody saw it, so I didn't need to describe it again because I didn't think that did much for characterization either. Okay, well, because see, there, there's still a bit of this property we have an exam. Let's let's get over there and then look. And that property is way bigger. Yeah, we. Yeah, that was too far away. I should have tried to. <laughs> Have her record audio afterwards and then try to overlay it. You could have done the same thing with the kayak trip with me. Probably. Oh, well. Things to improve on. On the next one. With that is, it looks like something, whatever it was, picked up the grass and threw it. This is this is grass from the bed here. Something picked it up. So yeah, it's got to be a, a something meaning me, but uh, not in you, not in this universe. Just like a... behind the scenes. I I built a frame for this thing that I, I laid it down. I I built a um 
uh, a pentagon and, and I laid it in the grass and then I stomped down the grass inside of the pentagon. It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like it has five points on it, like a, like a uh, yeah. pentagon. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, pen, pentagon. A really bad pentagram. Because for those of you who haven't figured it out, this, uh, this was actually supposed to be revealed as, or it was supposed to have, um, some connection later. You were supposed to put the pieces together that this is actually a crop circle. Wouldn't it make more sense to... And that would connect to the entities being aliens the whole time. We would have no sense, because you see, the way, what makes it a pentagram is when it's turned upside down to uh, look like the head of uh, the goat man, but we have no idea. I forgot here to mention the circle that goes around the, the upside down star to make it be um, a, a pentagram, like the way we trip, typically understand it. I was off a little bit on that. I just... There was too much for me to keep straight. I, I forgot some details. It's like a point right here. This is this is flat for a little bit. A point right here. A point right here. And then another point. Yeah, Joe had to go take a piss during this. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I cut that. There's going to be a cut right here. Right there. There was a cut where he went off. And I had to cut it. And... Stop, no, yeah. stop moving. I... It happens, man. <laughs> yeah. I hear somebody's walking towards us. Who is this? Was this Maddie or was this me? Um, I overlaid audio of uh, my mom recorded me walking through some other grass, and I I wow. put it over here. However, Maddie did try to stomp in the background because she didn't. There was a miscommunication there. She thought we were supposed to have somebody in the background stomp on grass to make it sound like somebody was walking. And I, when you heard me say "stop, stop, stop," that was actually me telling her to stop stomping. And I, I, nobody really noticed him now until I say it, but yeah, that's just what happens when you do improv. That was such a long run. Well, it seems like it was only like maybe quarter mile. Yeah, it was, it was entertaining. The thing I loved about adding in the photo of my car being crash like that is that I like I said I knew how much realism it would increase or it would make it feel more believable for the immersion is that since you saw me film you saw me film my car non damaged for multiple times in this movie and I thought oh that'll feel way more real that you see it <laughs> You just see it all normal looking, and then you you know it gets screwed up. Oh, and that slam on the window. That was actually... I threw that in there last minute. Like somebody slammed on the window as they were trying to get in the car or something, and uh, that's what I was trying to do. I just did that and thought that was... It, it, it was a spur of the moment thing. I thought that would add more, uh, more drama. I believe I was uh, in the passenger seat at this time. Yes, you were. The camera. Yeah, I held. I <laughs> safe driving. Uh, yeah, I, I handed it over to Joe. Ignore what just happened? No, Maddie. Maybe. Joe trying to be a smartass. One thing I know. What's new? I'm always trying to be a smartass. <laughs> So glad we did not walk. Right? <sighs> okay, so still my third day home and uh So, I just went through a pretty crazy experience. You already saw it. Maddie and Joe and I all went over to what uh, we, my family, refers to as the Norris House. Over to... I threw these random effects in the, here and there. So, of, of my house. so that the... Um, and, uh, you wouldn't always associate we, that glitching with something about to happen. 
weird symbol. Because I've noticed that movies that use it way too often only have it happen when something is about to happen, and I wanted to create some doubt and suspense there because if 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 that'll happen sometimes when something doesn't go wrong or the, there's not about to be some sort of uh, crazy experience that makes people wonder does this actually mean something's about to happen or is it just random so did that on purpose still looking around a little bit and then joe looked behind that concrete board and saw that that symbol was back there so they turned it around so that's why it was there after uh i came downstairs right and um but when I was still upstairs, then yeah, we heard, I heard those, I heard that disembodied voice say to me, uh, you'll see me soon enough, which I'm, you know, that, that was honestly kind of, that was really ominous. It's very, it's very, uh, cryptic. I really don't know when, uh, I don't know, I don't know how soon enough it is going to be. I don't know when that'll be, but, um, and yeah, but. Are you going to do a deleted scene of. Bill showing up to the door. Maybe after the truth too is released, that, um, but I don't want that to be, because like um, the, the ending of the movie was going to be different. I was going to, I had tried to film it, but it didn't go very well, so I cut it out. Uh, we did makeup on Bill to make him look a certain way, and I just said it and at the same time as myself on the video. <laughs> It found its way over here, because that's not that's not very far. It probably found its way here, and now it's just screwing with me because it probably doesn't have much to do. It just got some, and it wants. I think do. that uh, so, um, added feature, after if that it's either I, uh, I borrowed kept from, uh, or I'm, I'm gonna try redone, to will add a nice flair. Joe, because his dad yeah. Is and that is actually he's true. a former pastor. He's not a pastor anymore. Uh, I mean, uh, whatever I can get my hands on. He is technically still a pastor, but he is not currently pastoring anywhere at yeah. this time. I also I forgot to mention or bring back up that yeah, I also heard disembodied footsteps running at me up there. Like the, I heard it coming up the stairs too, over at the Norris house too. So yeah, that's another thing. But uh, I get behind you, Lucas. Yeah, if it weren't for Maddie, <laughs> they were in the other room. This house, I probably wouldn't have thought of it, but you know, thank God for her. Okay, just to specify, because I wasn't specific enough. The reason I'm bringing the crosses or crucifixes, I'm not planning on having that be a full fix. I want that. I only added this because I forgot to say it in the other take, and I was like, when I talked in the other take, I did it fairly well. I didn't. I didn't want to redo it, so I just put an extra clip in. More updates later. Okay, so I uh finally on full t shirts no. I'm home. Hmm? <laughs> just woke up and uh You're I, very awake for I just waking up. Up that I borrowed from Joe's parents. I did it last night. And it it feels a little better. Like a, a, quite a bit better it seems. Um but we we got another issue. I let Lucky out to the bathroom last night, and he never came back. So, I, I can only, I can only speculate that I'm wondering, because it seems a little bit too coincidental that it's around this point in time. I find all that crap over at the Norris house, and by the way, Maddie and Joe are like convinced now that that place is haunted. I don't believe that it is, because I've been there a lot, and that's never happened. Like, I don't believe that hauntings of locations actually exist. That's a true belief of mine. That's why I put it in here. And whenever activity happens at a place, that doesn't mean it's haunted. That just means it's inhabited. The entities are there because they want to be, right? They're not haunting the location. But that's not the point. But uh, <sighs> Lucky, I'm, I'm really hoping that maybe uh, he didn't, you know, get kidnapped because see i'm wondering if he might have gotten dog napped maybe by the maybe there were actually people spying on us that we went over there uh maybe the people who did the summoning and this is the point maybe, where all the dog lovers maybe start they like want to get no yeah no not lucky he's the best part of those so movies. and, and th 
this this, this cult idea that I, I introduced here is a red herring. And I actually had some people that fell for this red herring, and when that's what I was wanting. So then people would, they would take that and then follow it, and they would believe everything I was saying, and then only to be subverted. Adam says he was a puppy, and shit. If they, if they if they come in here trying to real backstory is like huh? If I, if I this out, uh, if they backstory and, that just, just is true, I'm gonna go if I'm not mistaken, sure he doesn't, is. Um, yeah, found very, him when he was a puppy. Yep. Very uh, emotional. Very. I almost was feeling like myself tearing up talking about this because. But the reason I don't believe that is because he's never run off before. He's been very good about sticking around the house. But. Uh, which that's true. That's. I'll go take a look, and and I'll I'll see if I can find him. I'll go to his favorite places, and if I can't, I don't I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I just got home after trying to look for Lucky and. I, I teared up like every time I watched that part. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. On a little note on the inside, and in the says, um, you'll see him soon enough. Is that uh, your handwriting? Yes, it was my handwriting, so but I I specifically wrote it in print because I always write in cursive. It's just instinctual, and I wrote it in print on purpose. I gotta freaking call him and see if he's not screwing with me. Okay, so I'm about to give Joe a call to make sure he's not screwing with me after I found that. Note on the front door that says, you'll see him soon enough. I forget, was I uh, at your house or was... No, you weren't here at all. And for those of you, this was all improv right here. This sounds like I'm actually having a conversation, but Joe, nobody was on the other line. This phone is a prop phone. It's my old phone that screwed up because I dropped it in water. <laughs> I dropped it in water on a kayak trip. Hey, yeah, hey, are you fucking with me? No. I want you to tell the truth right now. Are you screwing with me right now? No, I'm not. I promise. Joe, shut up. I would just want you to tell me the truth. <laughs> I'm saying exactly what I would say if yeah. you were actually on the phone like this. Specifically, hey, what's going on is uh, I found a I found a note uh, on my front door that says uh, you'll see him soon enough, and I thought that'd be something that you would think was funny, right? Because um, well, you know, Lucky's gone, and I thought maybe you would think that was funny to hang that shit up, thinking maybe. I would just No, I would never uh, mess with you like that. Not Well I mean hey, this is lucky. in universe, Joe. This this, this I, I know. Yeah. You promise? Yes, I promise. You didn't do it? I didn't do it, I promise. On my grandfather's grave. I promise. Okay, it didn't happen. You. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, I'll let you know <laughs> when I find him if I do. Alright. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, bye. Bye. Bye, Felicia. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, he says he didn't do it, as you could probably tell. I got so into my character doing this film, I actually started, I, I started to confuse details from the u movie universe with my real life. Not, not for extended periods of time, just briefly I would catch myself referring to something, how the movie was, specifically, when Joe lived down the street, from, did down the road for me. I caught myself at one point saying, oh, it doesn't matter. Joe lives just on the street. I can go. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> that, no, that's in the movie. And I'm going to try and repeat the test. I live 20 minutes away from you, guy. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> that got me that weird I tried to convince myself while this was happening, while I was filming stuff. This is actually happening right now. That's just the way um, actors do it. Uh, recorder or, uh, of uh, the EVP session I did. So I'm going to, yeah, repeat the test by asking the same four questions to see if it invokes the same response. And uh, got the EMF detector set up right here. The, the, yeah, the digital recorder, I'm similar way as before? Yeah, I said I'm, I'm just repeating the test because after I, I'm trying I mean, to see if it worked. Like the it alarm clock? Oh, no, no, no. Because this one, there's not going to be a response. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. The first uh, question is, is there an entity here with me? If so, do you have something against me? If you do, why is that? Also, can you tell me how you even got here?
okay. So that squealing noise, that's a... Uh, yeah, you actually couldn't even hear that on camera. I suspected you'd be able to hear it. It made a squealing noise, and I... Nothing supernatural about that. But the no, you're just hearing things. Mouth detector. <laughs> sure. Four. Okay, I think that I'll... No, suspicionists, or conspiracy theorists, rather. <laughs> wow, I can't speak today. Would have said... That's because your phone. I'll listen back to that in just a moment, but since the EMF detector didn't go off, that means the entities either aren't around me because, see, I put the crosses up, and if, uh, if they're working, that means they should either be so suppressed that they can't affect the equipment, or... They just can't be around me in this room because I have a cross hanging above the bathroom door. And I'll listen. No longer there. And if I don't hear Nothing was ever actually hanging up. That was just me saying they were. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll do an update on that. Okay, so I listened back to the digital recorder. I didn't hear a thing, and I brought the... I even brought the EMF detector over with me when I did. I hooked it up to the computer and listened to it, and nothing showed up, and the EMF detector never went off either. So, I think it's safe to say the activity is stable for now, and now that I'm confident about that, I can actually take a shower in peace and not worry. Yeah, you stinky about, person. So I gotta, yep. I gotta <laughs> In movie, what was it like? Three days he didn't shower or something. That's what the movie. That's what the movie is implying. But yeah, in real life, no, I already, I had already showered. Out of the shower, and I'm just, I'm speechless. That that damn that symbol from, that I saw. And yes, I actually took a shower here. Yeah, it's on, it's on the mirror. In and, and just you know, get into character and to actually get the mirror clean a day ago. <laughs> try to actually get the uh, so mirror to fog, fog yeah, up like that. Shower or, or very. Very recent. The Hot meaning water. of this. Oh, excuse me. What was that? Hot water. Yeah. yeah fog, is, obviously. The meaning of this symbol will be revealed in the truth too. I don't want to spoil it. I put the. I put the. I put those crosses up. Those crosses should be working. They should be suppressing whatever the hell this is. <sighs> what? The crosses are gone. Oh no. This little bit of crosses disappearing for me was inspired slightly by um the supposedly real haunting of the haunting in Connecticut, even though I call extreme bullshit on that story after doing some of my own research. I used to believe it for a while. But uh a lot of contradictions on all sides. It's gone. This is, this is just, that sounded like glass tapping. What? They would work if we were demons. Those are just jewelry pieces I bought to try out. This, this, we've, we lost the key to this over a year ago. That's a lie. I can't even get in there. I just pretended that was that, but I, I did lock it, but I pretended I couldn't get in. <laughs> okay, so yesterday I didn't sleep. I, last night, I didn't sleep in the house at all last night. I came back here. It's, it's morning time. I went to Joe's last night after the crap that happened last night. Because the crucifixes, they're not working. So, so that means either these entities are way too strong. And that maybe they're just to, like, screw with me. Because like, they put that note inside of that cabinet. They, they said, you know, that they're not really demons or maybe they're not but see if they're not then 
Excuse me. Yet again, another burp. It is the poltergeist. <laughs> uh, like my mom uh, had attached to her. But but if that's the case, then what the hell was all that stuff at the Norris house? What 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 was all all that weird stuff? What did that grass circle mean? It was too too perfect. It wasn't oblo like there there's just I I don't know what to think. I mean, I'm I'm really I'm really conflicted. All I know is that see I'm just coming back here in the mornings so that I can hopefully see if the people who who I believe took Lucky are going to bring him back. Like may, maybe. I don't know, because uh, since I got that note yesterday that says I'll see him soon enough, because of, um, I believe, yeah, that's referring to Lucky, like they're saying, I'm going to see my dog soon enough. So, I'm yeah, I'm just staying here during the day, like I said, in case he shows back up, but every time it starts to get nighttime and it's time for me to, you know, go, go to bed, I go back to Joe's. I don't trust that anything was a uh, I don't I don't trust sleeping in this house after the crap that's happening but see that's the thing I when I went to Joe's I didn't really feel like anything followed me if they did they just didn't feel like bothering me and they didn't they didn't feel, they didn't like emit a presence that made me feel like they were there which uh would surprise me honestly if they couldn't follow me because then that's also another kind of weird aspect of it. If it was a poltergeist, it probably, if it was fully developed poltergeist, it could follow me anywhere, right? But then demons should also be able to follow me anywhere. Or maybe, maybe that, maybe the demon, or if it is a demon, if it's just lying to me, like I said, this is all confusing. If it is a demon, maybe it can only come this far away from where it was summoned for, for, for some kind of weird rules or something. Like I, I don't know what to think. This is, just, there's just all just a bunch of crazy, Crap, and I have no idea what what those phantom car noises jo Joe and I were hearing that we heard at the bridge and we heard outside our house. I have no idea what that has to do with any of this. The truth too shall reveal all. Yes. That's crazy. Like I, well, maybe not everything. Yeah, maybe not everything. No, I have some uh, future plans. I've, n I've never had anything this crazy. Or, or this much stuff consistently keep going on where I was so confused about it. But It'll reveal most of the Questions that have been left by this. And in Someone six more there. questions. Wait, Natalie? Yeah, unfortunately she wasn't loud enough, but I just put subtitles. That's fine. It happens. What are you doing here? I got out of bed. I can't get on the computer. But did you tell anybody where you were going? No. Natalie's my cousin, what? but she looks like she could be my sister, so works. She's a decent actress. You came to see me, but she hasn't really done... I mean, she... You can't do... She's amateur like all of us, but she's believable. How did you even get here? Did you ride, like, that scooter or whatever out here? Yeah. I took a mini bike, you know. I just came to get a movie. I mean, I got mad at Dad, so I came here to talk to you, but I was in more holiday movies. Uh, before this movie, uh, okay. before I saw the whole movie, what, what, what can, what, it has been, like, uh, several uh, years since I have seen Natalie, you so I was... Yeah, she she had grown up enough since you saw her. It was kind of weird. So you better yeah. be going home. I'll come like, talk to you later. What? What? When did she grow up? Now I feel old. So, I didn't lock the door when you, or did you not lock the door when you came in? No. Okay. So I'm sorry. I need you to record this. It's kind of important. But like, see, I'm sorry. People have been after me. I'm sorry. I didn't tell. I think people have been after me. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you. But why the hell wouldn't you tell me? I didn't want to scare you, but I just. I gotta go downstairs and make sure there's nobody here. But, uh, just stay. I had to, yeah, my uncle had to drop Natalie off for this, and he had to get going somewhere, so he and, and uh, and Natalie's other sister, Taylor, had to stay, at, or excuse me, yeah, they all had to stay out in the shed, and I made them take Lucky out there so Lucky wouldn't be around Lucas? during filming this, because... Is everything okay? Obviously. Oh my god. I recorded that audio myself of, of the feet, footsteps running up there. And notice the detail, my keys. You see my keys? Something was running up the stairs. Are right there. I didn't know what was going on. 
know if that was... And then they, they disappear later along with the guns. Why would you leave the gun outside the room? <laughs> well, because what use is the gun going to do once we leave? I mean, that was... Yeah. Very, very cool detail here. That was a last minute improv. Or, excuse me, not a last minute improv. Um, I had to do a last minute change. The, the whole... I just... That was the classic fishing wire trick. Or, excuse me, fishing line trick. I hooked some fishing line around those cans, and then I hooked a string to the wall and pulled it. As it, it was strung up outside the door so I could grab it and pull it. But originally, the shadow figure was going to appear early and was going to come out from behind my dresser. Or, excuse me, from behind my wardrobe. And I was going to get a friend of mine to play it. But he couldn't be there in time, so I... Oh, the blood trail. Mm-hmm. I knocked that was... over, trying to rush up to see what was wrong with Natalie, but it's blood. Fake blood, by the way. <laughs> of course. That crap stains, that stains your fingers, though. The fuck did I put my shotgun? Oh, and when I filmed this part, when I ran back in the house, it was filmed slightly after they had left. Where the hell is it? It was right there. So when I ran, de when I was running through the living room, or the, the keys are it's gone now, so m mundane details. And my guns. They're both gone. But, <sighs> but, but when I was running through the dining room and the screen blurred on the bottom, it's because Lucky was back in the house. And he unfortunately ran through at the wrong time, and you slightly saw on the bottom of the screen, so I had to blur it to so you wouldn't see him. And because uh, I knew if you saw him, then obviously it would ruin it. So and I didn't want to refilm the whole thing. Extended blur. Me. <laughs> the keys are gone. Oh fuck. Cause they're gonna run. This was just me trying to cover up a plot hole about why I didn't use my grandma's cars. Um, you just got in my car. Lucas just called and said something crazy about that. So. I sound super enthusiastic. Yeah. <laughs> Very uh, dead sounding. I mean, I guess you could make the excuse that uh, maybe you were uh, getting sleepy or something. I don't know. It's late at night. Who yeah, knows? it is uh, late. At this time, I was going to bed around a little after dark, not fairly soon, not usually staying up this late at the yeah. at around this time. So, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, I was not good at enough of a director here for, for Joe. I didn't give him enough detail. I should have, I was going to tell him, but I didn't to try to keep me in the headlights. But when he pulled in, you see me sitting there, but he, and then he pans off to the left. I, I, Realized afterwards it would have been better if he kept me in the headlights, but whatever well, it is, also... it is. Hey, what's up? Yeah, the headlights would have been a lot better, but I, I uh, right. it was more instinctual to turn pan, it that way, yeah. pan around so I could do the Yui, which I don't believe happened. It wasn't even uh, my house. We don't oh no! Yeah, this isn't even Joe's house. This is by the time we filmed this, it was t it was up for sale. We're here to spend the night at your house again because so we we <laughs> we went up on the porch and just moved the table over and got some chairs and tried to pretend that this is like his house, but no, it's not. Somebody's living there now. We don't even really know them. I told her, you know, she she showed up. She rode in on this little. Uh, motorbike thing. I didn't want her to to be here. I, I didn't because you know her house is pretty far away. I didn't want her to be going that far. She didn't even tell her dad where she was going. But then she, uh, I I told her to leave, but she wanted to borrow one of my movies first before she left. So we went upstairs, and while we were up there, which movie? She heard <laughs> Doesn't matter. Convinced this is one of the people who's it was probably like High School Musical or something. Did all that shit something that teenage girl was like. Sure, I got that. Uh -huh. <laughs> or a horror movie. Oh, you guess horror movies. Not really. The only reason I cut stuff here is because we already pre-recorded the scene and I had expected that the, there was going to be the shadow person in it. Well, couldn't do that, so I just cut it where I only mentioned the shadow person. So that it wouldn't 
you know, contradict what we later shot. So it, it all worked in the end. See what was wrong. So the reason that ties in is because. Nope. The reason that ties in. Nope. Just cut that. Things are, they believe yeah. We're able to kill them. I and that's somewhat so of a predator dead. reference. And think about this more. We can't go rushing they in there all guns blazing. We they can die. Mm hmm. But, but that wasn't even the end of it. There's one more piece of uh, information. Th these things have the ability to actually steal things of ours. So then I went out to go run to my car. So that, that's this is why I ran. I oh yes. So that hat I was I mentioning it earlier. Mm -hmm. Getting get um, on the pipeline, the keys were gone during work this so past I, season. Of, you know, uh, I ran brain bin building all the way stuff. there. We had like a mini was, was tornado as you can imagine, touchdown I mean, near, uh, and the wind like. Took the hat away, so I thought it was gone. Come back the next day, it's under the crane. That's my lucky hat now. So I don't know what I don't know what the hell. Yeah, that, that's what I was getting at earlier. If you got to this point and we're questioning the hat reference, yeah. I don't want my grandma to have to come to home all of all this. Shit. You know, she's got enough problems in her life. But my mom, after what she went through with, you with need to tear up, man. Hmm? I don't want any of this. Got me to tear up, man. Like, you'll see me a couple times, like, too much. lean down, yeah. touch my face. That's like wiping tears away. To, I, I don't know. <laughs> see? Yeah. <laughs> Lucky? Lucky! So literally the same bark. I, I, I had to sit early, I had to literally wait around with my phone ready to record audio for him to bark at something, and then just to get the audio of him barking. How was it? A one bark or a two bark, and then just loop? Well, there was only one good one that I thought I really liked, so it's the same bark repeated. You can see this house wasn't very maintained, but all that moss, or like the little the algae growth or whatever it is. Even though it's probably the stupid thing to do, uh, that dog means more to our family and me than, like, people can care to think. I, he, we've been through so much. I, I don't, I, I can't leave him. We, All right, let's go get him. So, like, see, the reason I think that... What would a true friend do? Yep. Yeah. I had uh, that, that set sign that was on the door, remember? I called you about it. The, yeah. I just kind of made a uh, 300 uh, reference. Uh, Maybe they Queen talking to Leonidas, what would a free man do? What would a true <laughs> friend do? Yeah. If, no one probably got that, but that's alright. Let's, let's load up real quick and we'll, we'll, we'll creep out there. S survey. If, if the shadow person would have shown up how I intended, that, that would have started to create some some, uh, hyst not hysteria, uh, that would have started to create some nervousness when you saw our actual shadows, right here. That's what I was hoping for when we shot that. So I was like, oh, if, if it appears, then somebody's gonna see that shadow that we're actually casting and they're gonna like be, holy crap, it's the, it's the shadow, it's gonna jump out at them, but no. If we told them that, they're gonna be like, stop doing cracky fucking druggy and they're gonna come apprehend us and think that we're like a danger to ourselves and others. Hold on, we got... God, I'm getting, we're getting so ahead of ourselves. We gotta go. We gotta go in your house and get the guns. We turned off the engine. We're at least, I'd say maybe a quarter of a mile from the house. We can still kind of hear him barking. So we, we're. It's pretty safe to say that's where he is. We're going to uh, approach now. I've got a. I've got a nine millimeter pistol. Joe's got. Gun was fake that I was holding. Pistol, and he's also got a. Uh, the the guns that Joe brandishes in this video in this section are real. But mine's fake. Uh, we're we're going to turn the swoop. We use the uh, shotgun noises from the prior gun video for... No, we did not, actually. But I believe we recorded them the same day. Uh, we, we recorded it as separate audio. Or, or it was the actual audio for, for that shotgun. Yeah. But it was... Yes. Pre-recorded because... We tried to we tried to have Joe shoot it three times in succession immediately 
But his gun, his shotgun, unfortunately, is cheap. Tr it's garbage. It, it really is. It's it's cheap. It's garbage. Like it, you, it even looks. Like it, it couldn't even cycle the first round completely. So I just took one shot that we could get, and I looped it three times. Yeah. It. And it worked. worked Nobody could tell the difference. Well. But yeah, if you ever get. A clip fed magazine or a magazine fed shotgun. Don't ever get it. Well, no, that's a cheap one though. Magazine fed shotguns are all right as long as they're decent priced ones. Oh yeah, see the the whole inconsistency with the lights. Be me saying the lights were off when I left the house or something, or the lights weren't even on when I left the house was a mistake because uh, <laughs> I I turned the lights on, or excuse me, I had the lights off. And then, unfortunately, my grandmother and mom were inside, and there was a miscommunication there. I told them to make sure they lead the lights off. Well, unfortunately for them, or unfortunately for me, they turned it on anyway, even though it was supposed to be off. And I was like, crap, it's just... Part of the movie now. Yeah, I can't, can't fix it. And also, a little bit of consistency there for me. You saw that pink uh, towel that was laying on the chair on the porch. I laid that out because it was supposed to be drying from the towel that I had used the, the day before. Or the day of. Or it, it, it was supposed to be the day prior where I oh, stepped yeah. out of the shower. Uh, it is? Actually, what really happened, I now that I recall it, that towel was laying there because my grandma used it. But then, the fuck is that on his I specifically... Why are you Yep, I, I specifically chose to use that towel in the shower scene so that it would match. But yeah, this collar, I still have it. I just, I made it out of um, uh, insulation foam, that, that stiff pink stuff. I made it out of that and some uh, Gorilla Tape for a shell. And then I put metallic paint on it and I got these blinking lights on Amazon. And I just used some paracord and... Uh, Pretending right here. Didn't even try to cut it. Broken knife. That would have been better, but we didn't have a budget for that. So. Oh, we could have broken that knife. It's just a letter opener anyway. Yep, I drilled through the stud and tied it off on the outside because I wanted to try to make it as unusual as I could. For those of you who are wondering, we didn't have Lucky stuck in there that entire time by himself up until the point where we were walking up when Joe walked up and said, hey, it's Lucky. My mom was in there with him, comforting him, and then we did a jump cut, and we had her get out behind the shed, behind the chicken coop, and then we, um, I was trying to pretend also that I couldn't get this thing over his head, but really I could. That's the only way I got it on him. We talking about? It's so blurry, what happened? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, the door slammed closed. I'm so scared. <laughs> Lucky wasn't really barking during the scene. I just played the same bark noises before because I thought, hey, that might be startling to a dog, so it might work. Uh, Tell me, then talk to me. Uh, they're here. They are what? Uh, who? Who? I don't have an air. What are you doing? Joe! Joe! Boom, Something that would have been an extra good attention to detail from me, but I didn't think about it. When I, when I actually get out of the door here. Oh, hold on. That was a really good jump cut by me. You couldn't even tell that that, that, that was a totally different video. I opened the door. And then made sure, to, made sure to keep the phone in the same spot and then had Lucky get out and we undid that. And then and then uh, closed it and then got him out back into the house. So that was a good jump cut there and it worked. But uh, a good, I was, let me go back to what I was saying. I wish I would have taken, had the foresight to put shotgun shells, empty ones on the ground out here. So that you could like see that he would, had fired at something because they were out dispensed. But well, I hadn't thought about really that. See the ground anyway. No, you can't. But I could have like looked and found them and been like, "Oh, they're right here." So, Joe, answer me. Uh, 
you me! I'm dead. Not really. Nope. Not yet, at least. No, I died! Everyone in this movie did, pretty much. At least, there's only one confirmed one, and it's my character, and everybody else is MIA, missing in action. Indeed. But, but... Yeah, great idea. Have a guy with a shotgun keep the keys. Yep, and that's where it came to bite me in the ass. I thought I was being smart, but nope. I fucked myself. Alright, alright, alright. I'm in the window right yep. there. <laughs> yep. I got in the more Joe screen. having his second role being the shadow figure. And I love... This was just inadvertently done where he starts to blend into the darkness. It was just... It was Dark just... Enough, it was amazing. Yeah. It was just an accident. I got the light behind my hand too much, and it was starting to blend in, and I was... Don't bleed. Yeah, you bleed. What the hell does that make you? An alien. So... Better not move again. You're dead. They, they teleported me away. If I had better software, if I would have tried, I probably would have gone into the software and tried to um, Guys. put a layer this is insane. Uh, over the um, Everything you saw just over your figure to make it look more flat and less I defined. Yeah. I but I, woke up in my bed if I was ever going to re-release this and do like a remake or some bullshit for Amazon or something, I would That's have us do that. Ago. I looked on my phone, because it was so vivid, I wanted to double check. The footage is still there. If they had my phone, I don't know why the footage is still there. I think they would, you would think they would have tried to delete it, but this was two fucking days. Well, it's because the aliens, aka the shadow figures, getting rid of footage is not their job. That's somebody else's job. The job of the guy who vo Bill voices, and also is connected to the phantom car noises. So... Same, same as me, and he came downstairs, his parents were freaking out because they didn't know where he was for these past two days. They were going to file a missing persons report. He doesn't know what to tell them. I don't either. Uh, they, they know about the, the crucifixes we borrowed, which didn't work for shit, and they, but they don't, they don't know about, the, he doesn't know what to tell them. This is all just a bunch of craziness, and everything is back to normal in the house. My guns are back, the keys are back. Uh, the keys to my car are back. Uh, Joe's vehicle was back down at his house like it was never here. And his guns that he brought were all back as well. And Lucky's back. I, I, I went down, I had an emotional moment with... I was considering trying to actually film myself crying with Lucky, but I was like, eh. My mom and grandma are going to be back. Maybe we can do like a... Bonus features. No, because I don't plan on having there being any extra footage that I film that gets found. This is going to keep happening. Uh, it's going to endanger them. Oh, whether it's found or not. Like, it doesn't matter. Or deleted scenes or something. Maybe. I don't know. Try not to cry right now. This is just... I was actually trying to cry, but I actually couldn't. I Sometimes it's fairly easy for me. But this time I was having a really hard time. I just had to make my voice sound like it. And then the rub my eyes enough to make it believable. See, originally, this scene where I'm hearing somebody at the door was going to be extended and you were actually going to see Bill's character at the door telling me to hand over my footage. And it said, yeah, it's not yet. And, um, it's not yet known who was, yeah, at the door. And, uh, it, it, it <laughs> you're probably not going to, I don't think I'm ever going to release an official footage of me talking with Bill's character, I'm just going to probably at one point show the the deleted scene. In the deleted scene, we never actually were even talking because I just kind of had the camera focused on his chest and we were going to do a voiceover because uh, we thought that way, because that would have been the only scripted thing in the entire movie. We didn't want to try and uh, do any of the lines and everything try to remember it in the moment we thought it'd be easier to just do a voiceover or something and i had it all scripted out but yeah i said i scrapped that because the reason i cut out his character is because i realized for for the characters to get involved in the truth too 
I feel like it would seem too stupid of them to get involved if they knew specifically that this guy existed and that he was around and he probably is the one that killed me. Uh, I, I, um, yeah, mo <laughs> most of the people who helped me on the production of this were my family, aside from Joe. <laughs> oh, Wormhoff right there, you see? Yeah. Yeah, and special effects, uh, makeup artist is obviously Maddie, and then fabricator and rig. I fab did all the props and stuff, and um, props department. Yeah, just anything that we had for props was stuff we. It was stuff we either already had, we borrowed from each other, or I made myself. And then, yeah, thanks for watching.